how can we have crude oil number six in the world in nigeria when it comes to crude oil but apparently it is a country that refused to work because you take your crude oil out of nigeria and you take it to refine in malta the population of malta is 500,000. that is half a million the whole population of a country yet a country of 200 million people you move your crude oil and you go and refine it and you return it back is that not stupidity that shows that the country will not work four refineries Tinobu promised that the first refinery will be working in Portacot. Can somebody tell me if that refinery is working or not? The question is definitely it is not working. And which time we are asking questions? Nigerians do not want me to ask questions. Nigerians want me to keep quiet like stupid people like them. They know the truth, yet nobody wants to talk about the truth. And until we all speak out, look at the beautiful weather. It is also a little bit chilly. Inside Yoruba land, we have a better weather. We have a good farmland. All that area for 63 years of the madness, they can provide you with energy. Without energy, you cannot do anything. Without electricity, it is as dead as nothing. The petrol this morning is selling at £1.47p and the diesel is selling at £1.49. It is time that we, the Yoruba, demand our full total exit from the madness of what British created in 1914 fraudulent amalgamation. And like I always say, my job is to remind you that it does not matter the lies that you are told by your politicians. Nigeria failed to work because the union the foundation of nigeria was faulty and until everybody goes their separate ways we will be good neighbors we will still be good neighbors but for now i gotta go but i'll be back again a very good morning